At this very moment, the United States of America is experiencing an unprecedented amount of evictions. All right, gentlemen, let me tell you about it. And judging by the current state of affairs, it does not appear like things are going to improve as we continue to descend farther into the rabbit hole. Because of my condition, we relocated to Florida. The mild temperature, according to Paula, is beneficial for her arthritis. Nevertheless, albeit their slice of paradise comes at a price, it is a price that they are no longer able to afford. Now that they have moved in, they are unable to eat out, and they are compelled to put their food on credit cards because the rent has increased by 50% since they moved in. The following year, it will be $1,600, and we are unable to afford that amount. That will be utterly beyond our ability to achieve. In addition, they have an income from Social Security that is too high for them to be able to buy housing. There is no assistance available to us. There is only one place to go. However, this does not imply that there are no programs aid or assistance of any kind available in the world. Following the loss of their jobs and the subsequent eviction from their apartment, Maria Negret, who is 65 years old along with her daughter and granddaughter, are currently living in their car on the streets of San Diego together. Your search for employment has been ongoing. Recently, your daughter has been hunting for employment. In what ways has that been a source of anxiety for you? It is challenging because despite our best efforts, we have the impression that the system forces you to be in the position that we are in. Find a means to get off the streets and back into a house, do you think? Certainly not, especially considering how expensive everything is, including the cost of gas, rent and everything else. This is quite upsetting for me. One of the groups of homeless people that is experiencing the most rapid growth is Negret. Many baby boomers, including her, held occupations that paid little and did not have any savings to fall back on in the event that things became difficult. It has been estimated that the number of homeless people over the age of 55 would increase to 225,000 in the next four years across the country, which is an increase from the 170,000 that were homeless in 2017. So that's a 32% increase. Stability ought to be the defining characteristic of this age which is a period of time in one's life. You would expect that would be the case. People who are homeless can receive assistance from Dreams for Change, an organization that was founded by Teresa Smith. This organization offers jobs and secure parking for people who have cars. Oh, 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 oh. Over and over again, we are inundated with the same narrative. I've been living in this location for 10 to 15 years, and now I'm forced to go since they've raised the rent to a level that is higher than what I even make in a single month. Moreover, this situation has become much more severe as a result of the epidemic, as well as the record inflation and housing costs that have occurred. The average monthly rent for a two-bedroom apartment in San Diego is over $3,700, which is a 21% increase from the previous year's rent. Which of your fears and concerns is the most significant to you? My primary concern is that regardless of how hard we try, it is possible that we may be confined to the automobile for an extended period of time. Just like an excessive number of other working Americans, I am unable to find a place to sleep at night. Now, as I was saying earlier, the number of evictions is increasing all around the United States, and here is what you can do about it. The majority of programs that provide assistance with rent will continue to accept applicants. On the website of the National Low-Income Housing Coalition, you will discover a state-by-state -state guide that details the various relief alternatives and the regulations that govern them. Additionally, as you can see, all of the states and the information about them that you can click on will be able to provide you with support by way of rental assistance. For your convenience, I will include this in the description as well as in the comments part of the post. Therefore, you should be prepared to make use of these links. There are about 10.4 million persons that receive assistance from the federal rental assistance programs. This is the amount of aid that is provided by these programs. Where do they come from? Generally speaking, you have 63% females and 37% males in your population. The typical age will come as a surprise to us. Individuals who are younger than 18 years old make up the majority of the population. At a rate of 37%, these rental assistance programs often provide aid to our children and teenagers, 
while the rate for those over the age of 25 is 24%. In addition, individuals who are over the age of 62 had a rate of 19%, 8%, and 11% respectively. On the other hand, let's talk about certain programs that will be of assistance to a large number of people, including you older citizens. At this point, we are talking about the website of the United States Treasury Department. It discusses the importance of preserving families in their homes. There are programs that are available to them that are now available. And so one of the things that they say is that if you look to the left, it says, locate rental aid, find rental help in your region, right here in the Consumer Financial Protection, where you can discover rental assistant programs in your area. This is one of the things that they mention. And this is the approach that you will take to accomplish it. This is quite easy to make. The link to this will be included in the description of this movie, so stay tuned for that, people. As a result, this is especially useful for you, the elderly. On account of this, you will be able to benefit from it. In your state, you would put in place. Let's just pick any state on the list. Let's use Florida, which is my home state. Then I shall travel to the county where I live. And Hillsborough County is the county that I live in. I shall therefore travel to Hillsborough. After that, I will enter my information if I was a member of any kind of tribe within the United States, regardless of the type of tribe I was a part of. On the other hand, let me scroll down. Then, as you can see, it is informing me of all the rental assistance recovery programs that are available in the state of Florida. These programs range from the Rapid Recovery Assistance Program that they have in Florida to the opportunities for utilities and rental assistance that are referred to as Our Florida. Additionally, it is informing me of other programs that they have available in such a state. Let us go to another state and look at it. Therefore, I will include this in the description of the item. Go ahead and scroll all the way down until we reach New Jersey. In such case, I would simply select a county in the state of New Jersey. As I continued to scroll down, I discovered that in that particular county, there are programs that are now accessible in the state of New Jersey that can provide you with aid with your rent payments. Keep in mind that many billions of dollars were distributed to the states. All of this money was used for stimulation. The money that you are hoping Congress would approve is not for this purpose. These funds have already been given the go-ahead. Consequently, you should not hesitate to take advantage of the opportunity to locate rental assistance. Take a look at one more state, shall we? I am going to include this in the description, as I've already mentioned. Let's take a look at the status of the state of Ohio, shall we? Furthermore, in the state of Ohio, we could go to, for example... It is time to visit Jefferson. Additionally, it provides information regarding the emergency rental aid and home relief services that are accessible to those residing in Jefferson County, Ohio during times of rent crisis. If I were to select a different county, however, Let's select a different county in the state of Ohio. Take, for instance, Cuyahoga, which is one of the biggest...